Look how cute. She's such a weirdo. She's like, I don't want to be on camera. Oh, you should go to my doggo. Okay. What's up, friends? I am Miranda. Welcome back to another episode of Miranda in the Wild. In this video, I wanted to talk about everything that my dog Nala uses for our hiking and backpacking adventures. A lot of people have asked about Nala's gear, just curious about what she carries, how she carries it, how much weight she carries. So hopefully in this video, I can talk through all of that and help you prepare your dog for hiking or backpacking. Such a good girl, Nala. This is my show, gosh darn. So I have all of Nala's outdoor gear laid out here in front of me. I think, I keep feeling like I forgot something. I guess we'll figure that out as we're going through the video. Um, what was I saying? wanted to just talk about each of these pieces so you can see what she uses and then hopefully assess what's best for you and your adventure dog. Hi, babe. Yeah, you're so good. So if there's anything that you are going to buy for your dog, I would highly recommend it be a dog backpack. Obviously, if you have a medium sized to a large sized dog, having them carry extra weight is just really helpful for you. And it also gives your dog a like feeling of accomplishment. That's what I'm told at least. I'm not like a dog whisperer. But yeah, if you like put a pack on a dog, especially when I put Nala's pack on her, she gets this like, she's like, I'm working now. She's like, I'm like doing a thing. If you ever like go backpacking, you like put your backpack on and then you're like, I am now backpacking. You feel like a donkey. You know, like donkeys are like. You have nailed it. Every time I go backpacking, I literally go, I am backpacking like a donkey. I say that every time. <laughs> backpacking is just being a recreational pack mule. <laughs> <laughs> so Nala actually has two different packs that she carries depending on the length of the trip that we're doing. If we're doing a longer day hike or an overnight trip where I can carry some of her stuff, but I want her to kind of help balance out the weight a little bit, I will use this front range pack. So this is her rough wear front range pack. This pack slips over her head and then it actually has two buckles that go underneath her body. And then you'll see on the side where the pack is attached, there's this little like loop. This will go around the buckle once I get it attached. There we go, can I do the other side? So on this side, you can see that on one of these little mesh pockets, I have a roll of poop bags. It fits really nicely right there. I'll also have her carry her first aid kit. I'll put her food on the other side. I'm gonna seal this up and then this fits in the other pocket. Just like that. For longer trips, Nala uses the Roughwear Palisades pack and harness. So this is the Palisades. This is the pack and this is the harness. They come together, but they can be separated, which is honestly the coolest thing. And this is probably my favorite piece of backpacking gear that Nala has. So this harness is really lightweight. It has a weight bearing handle. I've used it when I'm climbing with her and I need to get her like to an area or a crag where I need to like pick her up and pull her up over rocks. I love this thing if I'm hiking somewhere and I need to be able to like grab her and pull her off trail. And then the Palisades pack attaches onto this harness. This pack, as you can tell, is significantly larger than the front range pack. Um, and it has many more pockets. So you've got a pocket on top here You've got two pockets on either side and they're really super spacious. And then in the front section, you actually have a compression strap that allows you to compress whatever's in the pockets. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's really, really cool. The Palisades also comes with these little water bottles. So Nala can carry her own water as well. Super cool pack, really practical. So I have her pack here and I'm gonna show you how I would load it up for the longest trip that Nala would be taking with me. First of all, we have our water bottles. Next, I'm going to put in her sleeping bag and her sleeping pad. This is when I would then generally add her food or even add some treats or her first aid kit, anything to just kind of balance out the weight of the pack. Perfect. Make sure. Yeah, awesome. This is as full as Nala's pack is ever going to get. Come here. Can we put your pack on now? You don't speak English. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're so good. So Nala has a sleeping bag and a sleeping pad that she uses for most of our backpacking trips. And these have made a huge difference in me being able to sleep in my sleeping bag without her which is just to say that before Nala had her own sleeping bag and sleeping pad, she would always try and sleep in my bag with me. And while that was like really cute, it was also just like not ideal for either of us getting a good night's sleep. What? 
She's defending, defending the hearth. So her sleeping bag is the Roughwear Highlands sleeping bag. This is the medium sized sleeping bag and it does come in this little compression sack. And then she has the medium sized Highlands sleeping pad as well. If you don't wanna carry a sleeping bag for your dog, I have heard of people using camp blankets, things like a rumple or any other like insulated blanket for their dog. But Nala really likes this sleeping bag and she uses it both for backpacking as well as for our climbing trips and in our van. Next are leashes. This is Nala's hands-free leash that we use for pretty much all of our hiking and backpacking. I love this thing because I can either have this go around my waist or I can shorten the length of the loop and have it just as like a handle. I can also attach this to the hip belt on my pack, which makes it really easy to give her some additional length when we're backpacking. This leash is also really lightweight because it is designed for people who are gonna be running with their dog or hiking where they don't want like a lot of heft. Nala's everyday leash is this one which I love, but it is quite heavy. This is an old piece of climbing rope, but it's just a little bit too heavy for backpacking. So we don't use this when I'm hiking with her. Instead, I use the roamer. I also wanted to mention Nala's cold weather stuff. If you saw my snow camping video, or if you saw when Nala went cross country skiing with me, you'll see that she was wearing these insulated rough wear booties. These little booties have some warmth to them and then they also have like a little sock part that comes up of her foot. So these boots really work really well when Nala's like running around in the snow, but she hasn't yet gotten used to them enough to wear them for long distances. So I've used this stuff, which is like a balm for dogs' feet. So something like this, which is specifically for animals or even petroleum jelly, works really well because it creates a layer between your dog's foot and the snow and the ice, which means that you don't have ice getting into their nail beds or sticking to the fur and then causing discomfort or causing them to bleed. So this has been a lifesaver. You can also use this on your dog's legs like in between their, their inner thigh but where your dog might your dog's leg might like rub uh, either against her body or even against their vest or their pack this stuff helps with that just like body butter does for us as far as warmth goes um i have been really concerned about nala staying warm because she's just such a short-haired dog and so i actually have two different jackets for her that she uses um, together as well as separately this jacket is specifically designed for cold weather, high intensity activities for dogs. It's stretchy on the bottom, so it's still pretty breathable for her, but the top part of it is water repellent and it provides some warmth for her. So I really love this for Nala, especially when we are like doing snowshoeing trips or now skiing together. This has been kind of a lifesaver. <laughs> so cute. The other jacket that I have is um, much fancier. This is um, perfect for car camping trips or for van trips where the weather drops at night and she just needs a little bit of an extra layer, but she doesn't need something like this jacket, which is kind of stiff and uncomfortable for her. She much prefers something soft. It's just like her fancy dog about town coat. Doesn't it look fancy? It doesn't look fancy. It really doesn't. It just looks like a regular jacket. I don't know. I feel like I put this on her and I'm like, oh, you're, you're so... Yeah, Masterpiece Theater. Ma her smoking jacket. It's her smoking jacket. Exactly. It's exactly what it is. I just feel like this is the jacket that I put on Nala and I'm like, ah, you're way more fashionable than I will ever be. So uh, just a couple other little things that Nala uses. For Nala's food, I use these stasher bags. Um, generally, I'll use two of these. I think they're called the sandwich or the... That bird was nuts. For Nala's food, I'll use two of these sandwich size stasher bags. This actually holds one day's worth of dry food for Nala. So I'll just use two of these for doing two day trips. Another thing that Nala carries also in relation to food and water is her collapsible bowl. Uh, what I love about this is that I can just leave it strapped to the outside of my pack because it has this little loop here. Nala does struggle with staying hydrated when we're hiking because she just gets kind of nervous and doesn't want to drink water or doesn't want to eat food while we're on a trip. Like looking at her, you like wouldn't think that she's a nervous, like she just looks like a chill dog. She's literally, her back her to the woods and she's literally got an eye on all of us right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> Last but definitely not least is Nala's first aid kit. First aid kit. I've gotten a lot of questions about this first aid kit and it was one of those like on a whim purchases. And as it turns out, Nala carries this on all of our trips and it has definitely been a huge help. And it even has this little booklet that gives you tips on how to do pet first aid. So definitely recommend having a first aid kit for your dog. This is a, a better first aid kit than mine. You think? <laughs> your pile of band-aids. 
Adventure Medical Kits actually has a few sizes of dog first aid kits. So take a look at what's available and see what's gonna work best for you and your animal. But I would definitely recommend carrying a dog first aid kit. It's just been a huge help for me. So now that I've showed you all of the stuff that Nala uses on her hikes, backpacking trips, as well as other outdoor adventures, hopefully you can make a good decision about what's best for you and your adventure dog. Remember that every dog is different, just like every person is different and different gear is going to work better for some dogs than it does for others. Nala does have an awful lot of adventure gear because I want her to, but you don't need any of this stuff to go out like backpacking or hiking with your dog. Starting with something simple, starting with a harness or a good light pack for them is a great way to begin. And before getting them a sleeping bag, you can always just carry a fleece blanket for them to sleep on at night. I hope this video was helpful. And if you wanna see more dog content, really who doesn't, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the REI channel. I will see you all in the wild. Bye. So that- <laughs> 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 My bad. That was no, that was great. That was yeah. a bad one.